Metformin is a commonly prescribed medication for individuals with type 2 diabetes. Its primary role is to help control blood sugar levels, which is crucial for managing diabetes and preventing complications. But a question often arises, is metformin dangerous for diabetics? But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. To address this, it's essential to look at what metformin does and how it works. Metformin belongs to a class of drugs known as biguanides. It works by decreasing the amount of glucose produced by the liver, increasing the sensitivity of muscle cells to insulin, and reducing the absorption of glucose from the intestines. This multifaceted approach helps maintain blood sugar levels within a target range. Over the years, numerous studies have explored the safety and efficacy of metformin. One of the most significant benefits observed is its potential to reduce the risk of cardiovascular events in people with diabetes. Cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of morbidity and mortality in diabetics, making this an important consideration. For instance, a large study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that metformin reduced the risk of heart attacks and strokes compared to other diabetes medications. Despite these benefits, metformin does come with potential side effects. Gastrointestinal issues such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort are the most commonly reported. These symptoms often occur at the beginning of treatment and may subside as the body adjusts to the medication. To minimize these effects, doctors usually start patients on a low dose and gradually increase it. Another area of concern is the risk of lactic acidosis, a rare but serious condition where lactate builds up in the bloodstream faster than it can be removed. The incidence of lactic acidosis in people taking metformin is extremely low, especially when compared to the rates seen with earlier biguanides. However, individuals with certain conditions, such as severe kidney impairment, liver disease, or a history of lactic acidosis, are at a higher risk and may need to avoid metformin. Interestingly, recent research has shed light on metformin's effects beyond glucose control. Some studies suggest that metformin may have anti-aging properties and could potentially extend lifespan. It appears to influence several biological pathways related to aging and has shown promise in animal models. While these findings are exciting, it's important to approach them with cautious optimism, as more research is needed to fully understand the implications for humans. Another fascinating area of study is the potential of metformin in cancer prevention. Some observational studies have noted a lower incidence of certain cancers in people taking metformin. For example, a review published in Cancer Prevention Research highlighted that metformin users had a reduced risk of colorectal and breast cancer. These observations have sparked a series of clinical trials to investigate the underlying mechanisms and determine if metformin could be a viable option for cancer prevention. It's also worth noting that metformin has been studied in the context of weight management. Given that obesity is a major risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes, the weight-reducing effects of metformin are particularly beneficial. By improving insulin sensitivity and reducing insulin levels, metformin can help some individuals lose weight or maintain a healthier weight, which in turn aids in better diabetes control. Despite the numerous benefits, not everyone can tolerate metformin. Some people experience persistent gastrointestinal side effects that don't improve over time, making it difficult for them to continue the medication. For others, metformin may not provide sufficient blood sugar control on its own, necessitating the addition of other medications. In such cases, healthcare providers can explore alternative treatments or combination therapies to achieve optimal glucose management. One concern that often arises is the impact of metformin on vitamin B12 levels. Long-term use of metformin has been associated with a reduction in vitamin B12 absorption, potentially leading to deficiency. Vitamin B12 is crucial for nerve function and the production of red blood cells. Deficiency can result in symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, memory problems, and nerve damage. Regular monitoring of vitamin B12 levels and supplementation, if necessary, can help mitigate this risk. 
For those worried about the long-term use of metformin, it's reassuring to know that it has a long history of use dating back to the 1950s. Its safety profile is well established and it remains a cornerstone in the management of type 2 diabetes. Nevertheless, ongoing research continues to explore its full range of effects and potential new applications. In the debate over whether metformin is dangerous for diabetics, it's important to consider the broader context. The benefits of metformin in controlling blood sugar levels, reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, aiding in weight management, and possibly offering additional health advantages often outweigh the potential risks. Regular medical follow-up and open communication with healthcare providers ensure that any adverse effects are promptly addressed and treatment plans are adjusted as needed. To illustrate the real-world impact of metformin, let's look at the story of John, a 60-year-old man diagnosed with type 2 diabetes a decade ago. John was initially prescribed metformin to help manage his blood sugar levels. Over the years, he experienced some mild gastrointestinal discomfort, but these symptoms were manageable. With metformin, John's blood sugar levels stabilized, and he was able to maintain a healthier weight. Regular checkups and blood tests ensured that his vitamin B12 levels remained within a normal range, and any minor adjustments to his medication regimen were made promptly. John's story is not unique. Many individuals with type 2 diabetes have similar experiences, finding metformin to be an effective and manageable part of their treatment plan. While it's essential to remain vigilant about potential side effects and interactions, the overall safety profile of metformin is reassuring. As we conclude this exploration into the safety of metformin for diabetics, it's crucial to recognize that individual responses to medications can vary. What works well for one person may not be suitable for another. The key lies in personalized medical care, where treatment plans are tailored to meet the unique needs and health conditions of each individual. One of the most compelling aspects of metformin is its affordability and accessibility, making it a viable option for a wide range of patients. Given the chronic nature of diabetes, long-term treatment costs can be a significant burden. Metformin, being one of the least expensive diabetes medications, provides a cost-effective solution without compromising on efficacy. This is particularly important in resource-limited settings where access to health care and medications can be challenging. Moreover, the oral administration of metformin simplifies its use, as opposed to injectable diabetes medications, making it easier for patients to adhere to their treatment regimens. Adherence is a critical factor in managing diabetes effectively, as consistent medication use helps maintain stable blood sugar levels and reduces the risk of complications. Furthermore, the long history of metformin's use in clinical practice offers a wealth of data supporting its safety and effectiveness, which reassures both patients and healthcare providers. With these advantages, metformin continues to be a cornerstone in the fight against diabetes, underscoring the importance of individualized care and regular monitoring to ensure the best outcomes for each patient. This holistic approach to diabetes management highlights the need for informed decision-making and close collaboration with healthcare providers. Ultimately, the decision to use metformin should be made in collaboration with a healthcare provider, taking into account the full spectrum of benefits and risks. Ongoing research and advancements in medical science continue to enhance our understanding of metformin and its role in diabetes management. By staying informed and engaged in their health care, individuals with diabetes can navigate their treatment options with confidence and achieve better health outcomes.